What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons offensive line. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I appreciate you guys continuing to tune into the channel. But let's jump right into the video. So in this video, I do want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons offensive line briefly. Um, if you didn't see on Tuesday, the Falcons did cut Jamon Brown, uh, the guard. He actually played the left guard position. Him and James Carpenter actually were brought in last offseason to try to solidify that guard spot. Uh, to me, neither one of those guys did a good job last year of trying to solidify that position. Both guys battled injuries um, and it was a revolving door. At that left guard position between James Carpenter, Jamon Brown, and Wes Schweitzer. Uh, none of those guys, uh, to my standpoint, got the job done. And that's the reason um, that the Falcons went out and drafted Matt Hennessy. So with Jamon Brown being cut, that move tells me one thing. And what it tells me is uh, Matt Hennessy is balling at camp. Um, from what I've heard coming out of camp, Matt Hennessy is the front runner right now to play that starting uh, role at left guard. Um, I said it all along that I thought that Matt Hennessy would be the starting left guard going into the season. Um, and the reason that I believe that is because if you think back to the offseason, um, Thomas Dimitrov and uh, Dan Quinn was down at the Senior Bowl and they were down there evaluating all of the players but mainly evaluating Matt Hennessy. Matt Hennessy was one of those guys that they really liked at the Senior Bowl. They were able to evaluate him in one-on-one -on -one drills, blocking drills, and they were able to watch him play in a Senior Bowl game. And I think those guys were really impressed. And that was the reason why Thomas Dimitrov pulled the trigger in the third round and take Matt Hennessy. So Matt Hennessy um, wasn't just brought in here to replace Alex Mack. Once Alex Mack, uh, Alex Mack retires, he actually was brought in to play that guard position in the meantime. And then once Alex Mack decides to retire, then he may slide over to that center position, which was his natural position at Temple. But I really think that uh, Hennessy is going to be one of those guys that's going to ball out this season. Um, I definitely think that he reminds me a lot of Chris Lindstrom, who we drafted last year, uh, last year in the first round. Uh, Matt Hennessy has a lot of qualities that Chris Lindstrom has. Um, he can get off the ball and uh, run block very well and pass protect really well. Um, if you know anything about players that play center on the offensive line, the center is usually the smartest player on the offensive line because they have to make all of the checks and the audibles and things of that nature and point out the Mike linebackers uh, to the quarterback and things of that nature. They have to make, like I said, all of the line calls and know all of the cadences and pretty much all of that stuff. So, uh, Matt Hennessy is definitely somebody that can play that guard position in the meantime. And I definitely think that it's his uh, it's his position to lose at this point. He is the front runner. I don't see James Carpenter or Matt Gano uh, overtaking him for that starting role starting week one against, uh, against Seattle. We only have about two weeks or two and a half weeks left before the season starts. And I think that uh, Matt Hennessy is going to solidify the line. I talked about it a little bit on Red Cup Rants uh, 2, which is um, every Friday night at 8 p.m. You can check me out, uh, Matt, Mike, and K Styles, uh, a.k.a. Kevin. You can check us out um, on every Friday night at 8. Um, use this around 8 to 10 p.m. We talk everything Atlanta Falcons, and we talked about, or I talked about, who I thought would be the starters on the offensive line. Um, and I said that it's going to be Jake Matthews, Chris Lindstrom, Alex Mack, um, Matt Hennessy, and um, at that right guard position, Caleb McGarry, uh, or at the right tackle position, excuse me, Caleb McGarry. So those are the starters that I have. Uh, I have in pencil or penned in as being the starters going forward. We'll see um, as we begin to cut down our roster a little bit. And once they put the depth chart out, but I really think that uh, Matt Hennessy um, is going to do a great job at that position. I really think that our offensive line is the was the biggest Achilles heel last year uh, on our offense. I do think that if the offensive line plays better, 
it's going to automatically elevate our offense to another level. A lot of people wonder why our offense hasn't played as well without Kyle Shanahan. I do think some of it is scheme. You know, Kyle Shanahan is great at scheming up great plays to get players open. But also, I believe that our offensive line play has severely declined uh, since the days of having Andy Levitre and having Chris Chester on that uh, at the guard position. Those guys in 2016 really did a good job as veteran players of coming in and solidifying the offensive line. Even Ryan Schrader, he was one of those players that we had playing at right tackle position that just severely declined after the Super Bowl year. I don't know exactly what happened to him, but his play kind of just diminished and he fell off the face of the earth um, as far as his skills eroding. So I definitely think if the offensive line plays better, that the Falcons will be a Super Bowl contender. Excuse me. Everything is connected uh, to the offensive line. The running game will get better if the offensive line plays better. We all know the passing game will succeed if the uh, if the offensive line does a better job at protecting Matt Ryan. It's been proven time and time again when Matt Ryan has a good offensive line, um, he has big seasons. And when he has a good offensive line, usually that means that the running game is going to be a lot better as far as them opening up holes for Todd Gurley and Brian Hill and Edo Smith and those guys. I really think last season, the offensive line really played poorly and it affected not only the running game, but it affected Matt Ryan because he was one of the most sacked quarterbacks last year. So I do think that the biggest thing I'm looking looking at going into week one against Seattle and, and the biggest thing that I'm looking at going into this season on the offensive side of the football is going to be the offensive line. I know that Julio Jones and Matt Ryan and Todd Gurley and those guys and uh, Calvin Ridley, those guys are going to ball out. They're going to do their thing. They do it every single season. But we haven't had consistency on that offensive line. We haven't had um, consistency as far as players not being injured and having you know, those five guys that's connected and all moving and playing as one and moving in concert. I really think that this year, if those guys can stay healthy, even Chris Lindstrom and Caleb McGarry, because, you know, last year, Chris Lindstrom broke his foot in the first game of the season against Minnesota. So that was another thing that really uh, hampered that offensive line and not having, having that continuity up front. So I really think if we can get the continuity, uh, the continuity going on the offensive line this season and those young guys can step in and play those roles, uh, you know, play their roles. I really think that we can get back to being that 2016, 2017 offense that was balling and was one of the top scoring offenses in the league. Um, like I said, it's been proven when Matt Ryan gets the time to pass and when he has a decent offensive line and a decent running game. You know, last time he had a great offensive line and a great running game, he went to the Super Bowl. So I really think if the, the offensive line uh, can step that game up this season, you know, block better in the run game and in the pass game and be fit more physical um, and keep guys off of Matt Ryan and keep guys out of the backfield during, the, you know, on running plays. I really think that the Atlanta Falcons are going to have a big season, not just on offense, but have a big season in general. Um, but with that being said, uh, tell me what you think in the comments about this video. Tell me what you think about the offensive line, maybe who you have starting the season, the five guys you would have starting at on the offensive line. But these are, you know, that is my five guys. And that's been uh, those are the guys that I think are going to be the starters that I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, if you got any other questions, definitely drop that in the comment section. Um, like I said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe is the name of the game. Let's get this thing to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you guys' loyalty uh, loyalty to the channel. And definitely check us out, like I said, tomorrow night. Uh, Red Cup rants every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 10 p.m. We talk all things Atlanta Falcons, me, Mad Mike, and, uh, me, Mad Mike, and K Styles. Definitely check us out. Um, you guys continue to tune in. I'm going to have some new things coming for y'all in a couple weeks. Um, I'm going I'm to be doing some live videos and things of that nature uh, once the season start. So you guys stay tuned. Um, but with that being said, this has been your boy Jew. I'm out. Peace and love.